Who will we get out first? We've got Hickey, we've got Taz, we've got Ryan Vickers, Christian Eden, we've got Kyle Wright, Lee Jackson, Rory Skinner, and the one and only Mr. Toby Braidwell. Who do you want first, guys? Sounds like they're shouting Steve Day. I don't think so. I don't think so. Who wants, who wants Toby Braidwell? Come on, Tommy. Come on down, Tommy. Tommy Braidwell, ladies and gentlemen. You're staying hydrated, Tommy. Um, good to see you here, of course. Fantastic efforts here at Brands Hatch in the past, at the end of last year, and um, it's been since Salton Park. You're back on the podium. You must be really happy with that. Uh, fantastic ride today. Exciting battle for second. It was all going on out there. Yeah, with Brands Hatch in the sun, in it, what could be better? But uh, no, great racing, great atmosphere, great fans. It's so just, honestly, is a is a rider you you when you're racing you're battling that's that's your job but when you, you can kind of take a bit of time and slow down i can see all you guys cheering and see the probably rival flags flying high it's, uh, it, it makes it all worth it so uh, yeah great day great racing and, and great to see all you guys here tonight Tommy, just quickly, before we talk about racing and stuff, and I'll get Dunk over to ask you a few questions as well, I've always wondered what it must be like, because Brands Hatch GP circuit is so special. When you come out from those trees, can you feel the, the atmosphere? Because you'll see all the fans, they're sitting on the banks at Clearways, this amphitheatre around the Brands Indy part as well. How does that feel? Yeah, oh, it's mega. I thought you was going to ask me what it's like to be so good looking when you said that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, I'm really taking the Mickey. No, it is. It's mega in it. But um, you know, like I say, when the when the sun's out, I've raced there when it's cold, wet, miserable, in in it, all the fans are the, is as enthusiastic as they are when the sun's out. But uh, yeah, the, the the history of the brand's GP, the the history of that this place has is just mega. It's, it is a privilege to be fighting for, for race wins in front of all the fans and, and just enjoying what we do. But um, yeah, I, I love it. I'm, I'm happy and uh, yeah, ready to get the party started. Tommy, I need to ask you, what is it like to be so good looking, buddy? <laughs> Tell us. You will never know. <laughs> I will never know. No. Exactly. Thanks for that. I think great it. Nether region. Uh, I want to know, you were in a great battle for that race, Jason was in front, you and Taz were getting a bit spicy towards the end of the race. Did you see Taz drop the wheel over the curb at the exit of Graham Hill? Did that happen right in front of you? I want to know who you were cheering, because he's a fellow Scotsman, yeah, wee bugger, yeah. Is that your best Scots? Come on, give me your best Scottish accent, come on. Oh, no, 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 come on. No, because it's, it's a swear word, can I say a swear word? Can Tommy Raidwell swear? <laughs> Yeah, we bastard, yeah! <laughs> that was cheering on Taz. <laughs> Just to let you know. But it was a hell of a moment here in front of you, and it kind of opened everything up for yourself and Bradley. Were you thinking, this is my go time? Yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, Jay set a good pace out front, and Taz uh, was keeping his power to clean, and, and I was happy there. Um, and then it turned into a standard sort of BSB dogfighting. Like I say, uh, when Taz dropped the wheel over the curb, um, it kind of took my eyesight a little bit, and then from somewhere, Brad, to be fair to him, I think he turned in, and he come into into this bottom left fast pass, he, he had to turn in early, because I think he was going to wipe me out if not, but uh, it's just standard BSB, that's what all the all the fans love, you know, we love being involved in the battles, you know, it's, uh, no one wants a runaway winner unless it's me. <laughs> Absolutely, we know that you'll have a runaway winner as well. It was great to see you work your way through the park, and Steve will agree with this. You, you didn't have an easy ride there. You had to work very hard for that. And great to see you on the podium. I was told by your guys that they were, you were going to win all three races and take away the Groovy Monster Trophy, but uh, still a good ride to come through the park. I, I just like overtaking people, so uh, I, I like to start nice and slow. Um, I could start fast, but making making it too easy. What's, what's the fun in that? But uh, no, it's um, it, I don't know. I make I make life hard work for myself, but uh, it is what it is, and I can uh, normally pull it out of the bag. But. And we've talked a little bit about big races, Steve. I want one more question. Is that okay. Yeah. You did a bit of house building. Chats a bit. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I take over. Oh, totally. You did a bit of house building just now, weren't you? Yeah. And you were house building all the way through that heat wave. You're doing all the hard work, and the missus is lying at the back, taking wine, taking pictures of you working all the way, all the time, innit? But uh, I've actually just bought a new tractor, so 
I thought, do you know what? I'm not doing manual labour anymore. I'm going to sit in my tractor. It's got aircon. It's got a radio. I bought a flail mower, and now I just cut grass. <laughs> it's like genuinely just farmers complain that they've got a hard life. In I think it's brilliant. <laughs> My last question to Tommy before we let him go is, uh, many of you would have seen Jeremy Clarkson's farm, but who would like to see Tommy Bridewell's farm? I reckon that would be rocking, mate. We are, weirdly, it's funny because me and uh, 44 Teeth are working on some bits. It's, it's going to be on YouTube, I'd, I'd imagine, in time. But um, it's, I'd like to say it's hyped up, but it's just the way you carry on in life days. So, uh, I'm sure it makes some good beer. We've got plenty of owl boxes anyway, but just no owls. Uh, Ray Steve, uh, Tommy Bradwell, thank you very much. Let's see you for TV46. <laughs> just like over my shoulder there, Doc Price, how much time do we actually have? Not a lot.